It's February 23rd. Pastor is saying to us, His nature in us. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 24, of the New Living Translation. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, we are admonished to be imitators of God as His beloved children. His life and nature in us makes this possible. We can walk in absolute mastery and dominion in the earth as Jesus did. For as He is, so are we in this world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. Being born again, you are born after the second Adam, Jesus Christ. You were created after him in righteousness and true holiness. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. This new creature has the God nature. This is the reason you can please God and live the Christ life. No matter how much you train a dog to act like a human, it can never be human because it doesn't have the human life. To be human, you have to be born that way. We are godlike and can emulate our Heavenly Father because we were born with His life and nature in us. It's the reason we can do the same thing Jesus did. He said in John chapter 14, verse 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. You can heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, and cast out devils as Jesus did. He gave you the authority in his name. Moreover, we can emulate him in our love walk. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2 says, And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for sweet-smelling savour. His nature in you makes it possible to express love to those in your world, whether or not they deserve it. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. My divine nature causes me to live, love and talk like my heavenly Father. The beauty and compassion of Jesus is seen in and expressed through me. For as He is, so am I in this world. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 of the New International Version, and 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 29, and Leviticus chapter 24. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 13, and Exodus chapter 4. There is an unprecedented stirring of the waters Ow. and the healing free. streams are flowing again. Free. It's flowing to every nation, every city, and every home. If there's anything that's been wrong in your life, especially your body, God's peace can get a hold of your system and bring an end to the sickness that you have been going through. It's time for an unforgettable outpouring of the miraculous at the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris this March, from Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March, 2023. God sent me to you to bring you His healing. That's why I can utter words from Him. And it doesn't matter where you are in this great world. As I speak those words, the disease, the sickness, the infirmity has no option than to leave you. This is your set time for a miracle. Register now at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS. For more details, call the number showing on your screen. The services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and on the Healing School mobile app. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Your set time for your healing.